Lightweight metals are a big deal for the transportation industry because they enable vehicles to be lighter weight at the same performance level and same safety. And by being lighter weight, the vehicles consume less fuel. However, these metals are very expensive to produce and consume significant amounts of energy, much more so than steel. The RP Metals program is helping to make lightweight metals more competitive by de developing new, more cost-effective, and more energy-efficient primary production and recycling technologies. And by doing so, we're helping to enable these metals to be more widely adopted throughout the transportation industry. One metals project we're really excited about at RPE is the UHV project. UHV has developed a truly first-of-a-kind sorting technology that employs X-ray fluorescence coupled with vision and advanced software to individually sort pieces of metal at a greater than 90% accuracy. The goal of the project is a cost-effective domestic recycling and reuse of aluminum scrap. Two million tons of this material is generated every year. So, so we're dealing with, with scrap pieces. These pieces can be one inch, they can be six inches, they can be a square, a triangle, a circle, they can be a crumpled ball. And, and somehow we have to uniquely identify these pieces. They can't be remelted to create a useful alloy again, but if I sort them out and I take a single alloy, then that, that can be remelted and reused to make new products. The technology is a sensor uh, fusion approach uh, to identifying the alloys. So with the X-ray fluorescence spectroscopy, we are able to identify the chemical composition of the material. So as the materials pass underneath the conveyor, we're able to measure the chemical composition in milliseconds, and we're able to, to, to determine which alloy and, and material that is passing through our system. So we're combining it with, with image uh, and, and the spectroscopy and also intelligence on the software side, and, and in particular artificial intelligence. So by making a highly intelligent software combined with, with you know, chemical and visual analysis, we, we can uniquely identify these elements. This project has really come together by, by three important uh, key, key players. So the, the first one is UHV Technologies for creating and inventing the technology. The second one is Omnisource, who will ultimately use that technology in industry. And the third one is Aries Manufacturing, who will actually make the instruments to supply to companies such as Omnisource. My entire life, I've always wanted to create a technology that makes the world a better place. The potential impact of this technology is so large that we envision this technology will be widely used throughout the 300 scrapyards in the United States. This technology could be truly transformational because it can save substantial amounts of energy by avoiding the shipment of the scrap metal overseas while creating a domestic industry in the U.S. for recycling scrap. For nearly half a century, industry has been using the same energy-intensive titanium production process. Another metals team, the University of Utah, has developed a brand new approach which requires significantly less energy and enables titanium to be produced at dramatically lower cost. Titanium is one of the metals that we focus on because it is, it is a, a great metal, it is a wonderful metal, sometimes referred to as the metal of the future. I would like to say it is the metal of the present. So we take a, a feedstock material, which is titanium dioxide, which is a, again is a low cost commodity. And then we take magnesium metal powder. We blend the powder, put this blend of powder in a crucible, place them in a reactor that's uh, in the furnace, we heat it up uh, to about 700, 800 degrees C, cool down, you end up with the titanium hydride that we're looking for. We also develop a process based on the same uh, approach, is making spherical titanium alloy powder that can be used for 3D printing. We do have uh, two very important supportive uh, industrial partners. Uh, one is the Boeing, uh, the Boeing company, and, and then the Arconic. If uh, only we say it's good, that's not good enough. <laughs> As somebody who worked in the aerospace industry for 20 years, I certainly recognize the importance of lightweight metals in enabling lightweight vehicles that have reduced fuel consumption. If the metals program is successful, we'll be driving and flying lighter weight, lower cost, and higher performing vehicles.